Underneath it all, we are wild and we know it, right? Ha ha ha! And from this thought, we are quite enthusiastic about keeping wild animals like fennec fox as their home pets. So in today's video, we are going to show you should you keep fennec fox as a pet or just let it stay in the wild. Petopedia Hearing fennec fox, what comes to your mind first? They are wild creatures and can be violent. Yep, you're right but partially. They are wild but look adorable and cuddly enough to keep as a pet. As this animal may be dangerous to people, several states have banned it. However, they are exotic pets, many animal lovers have the craze for keeping them as pets. And considering this enthusiasm, many states have permitted fennec foxes as your home pet. If you have proper licenses, permits, and health certificates, you can easily adopt a fennec fox in those states. So, before having a fennec fox, make sure that whether your state allows them as pets or not. On another note, New York has listed it as a suitable companion animal to keep as a pet. After watching Fennec from Zootopia, you might think that Fennec foxes are hot-tempered, right? Haha, <laughs> but no, instead, they love to run around and play with their humans. Also, they are very social and cry for attention even though they are wild species. Being high energetic, they love to explore their surroundings. Hence, it's necessary to have a spacious yard in your house to give them access to roam around. The only time they stay inside the home is when it's freezing outside. However, fennec are a bit aggressive with other animals like dogs, cats, and rabbits. So, if you have any other household pets, it's better to keep them in a space far from fennec. Plus, Keep in mind that wild fennec could be dangerous for the house with children because their bite is quite strong and can also be deadly. If you're all set to get a fennec fox as a pet, get ready to deal with their proper caring requirements. Starting with their housing, as they are not domesticated animals, you can keep them indoors. Instead, they need to be housed outside. Before doing that, ensure that you have enough space in your backyard to build an outdoor pen. And the pen area should be around 7 feet by 10 feet with 3 feet of sturdy fencing. Then comes its roof, because the pen definitely should have a roof, and it should be in an open area where there are no buildings, not even your home. Yep, you're hearing it right, they need proper sunlight to heat up their living space. Another crucial fact to keep in mind is the awareness of escapees. Yes, they're very good at escaping from their pen. Therefore, make sure that its exit gates are durable enough to secure. Are there any vegetarian foxes? Well, fennec foxes are omnivores and are considered opportunistic eaters in the wild. It means that, whether it's meat, fruits, or green veggies, you can feed them almost everything you want. But their proper diet requires high protein and low carbs. So you have to design their diet plan with more meat items than fruits or vegetables. Also, they need more water than other animals of similar size. So try to provide fresh water every day in their pen. If you love a unique and exotic pet like a fennec fox, you have to consider some of the facts. Firstly, they aren't legal in all states. Then they can be attacking to kids and other pets. And lastly, they require an expensive maintenance cost. And keeping these facts in mind, you need to make a decision whether you're going to keep it as your next pet or not. Thanks for watching the video. Like, comment and share this video if you find it useful. Then subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for further updates.